What are you cooking today, Miss Martha? Well, I'm making chicken and vegetable skewers. I'm making my own teriyaki sauce. So my teriyaki sauce I'm making is going to be vegan. And I also have picked up some tofu. So and for those that just want total vegan, like if this was going to be a meatless Monday dish, you can have the vegetable skewers and you can have the grilled tofu. You don't have to have the grilled chicken because I'm going to do the chicken on uh, separate skewers and I'll do the vegetables on separate skewers and I'll do them in separate pans. Now, unfortunately, to do things like that, I need to use my best trays. I, these are, I usually use these for baking, so I'm going to have to cover these with riddle drop because I don't want sticky teriyaki sauce, you know, baking through my pan and messing up my sheet. So I've got a little prep work I've got to do. I've got to cover my trays with riddles wrap. I've got some lovely organic skinless boneless chicken thighs that I've got to rinse off. And I've got my other vegetables to slice up. I've got yellow squash and I've got zucchini. I already have the pineapple that I bought. It was in chunks. I didn't, you know, I have never butchered a pineapple by myself and I was afraid it would be one of these things that by the time I cut off all the outside of it, I'm left with just this tiny little piece. <laughs> I, well, one of these days I'll, I'll butcher a real pineapple on my own. I've also got onion, peppers, aroma tomatoes, and button mushrooms. So those will be my vegetable skewers. The tofu doesn't take long to cook. I do have instructions that will be in the recipe on the YouTube cooking page where uh, the tofu of 2023 is not the tofu of the 1970s. You used to have to get your tofu and you used to have to press it. Now Amazon's got fancy gadgets for people that like make their own tofu and they want to press it. But you, you can just get it at the store. If you already get the extra firm, you don't have you can skip that step. But you have to put a, a tray, paper towels, put your tofu down, paper towels, another tray, and you have to put some heavy weights like two five pound bags of sugar on top to mush to mush the tofu to get all the juice, the, the moisture out of it. So then you could cut it into little cubes and you could pan sear it or grill it to have as your uh, meat protein for your meatless Monday or your vegan dishes. But this is this is good to go just like this. So we don't, we don't have to do all that hard work here. But we don't deal with that till the end of it. What I've got to get doing now is also my teriyaki sauce, which is gonna be vegan. It's got green onions in it and fresh ginger. You know what fresh ginger looks like. Miss Moss is going to sit here and mess with the bag for two minutes trying to get it out. I should be better organized but I was later getting to the market. There's a little fresh ginger. looks like a little hand. A little monkey's hand. That's the fresh ginger. I've also got chopped dates going in it. Brown sugar. Minced garlic. Molasses. Balsamic vinegar. Toasted sesame oil, vegetable bouillon, not beef or chicken, that way it has to be vegetable bouillon so we can keep this vegan teriyaki sauce. My spices are celery salt, coriander, cardamom, celery seeds, anise seeds, and a little bit of salt. So I got, I'll get all this into the proportions needed. I'll get that in a little pot that will go on the stove and it'll be simmering. I do, however, I don't want chunks in my teriyaki sauce. So once I get everything assembled for it, I'm going to zits it in my Vitamix for a few minutes before I put it in the, put it on the stove top. So that's more prep work that I can save time off camera and get that done and we'll just pick back up. So I'll, well, the first thing I'll do is I'll wash the chicken Set that aside, wash my hands really good. Then I'll cover my baking sheets with the Reynolds wrap, and get the skewers opened up, and they're ready to go. I will slice up my vegetables that are going into the sauce pot, make the spices into that, blitz it, put that in the pan, put that on simmer so I can keep an eye on it but still be doing other things. I'll get all my other vegetables cut into the same size of my uh, a whole mushroom or my little pineapple spears so they'll look uh, uniform and pretty on the skewers. If this was a beautiful summer day, but I've got a rainy February day here, if this was a beautiful summer day, we'd be doing these little skewers outside the kebabs on the grill. But I'm gonna do them in the oven, except I'm going to pan sear the tofu with a little bit of the vegan teriyaki sauce on that. And that could be on the side, so whoever my, my vegan guests for dinner, they have they can stay true to their uh, desires for nutritional and dietary uh, means. So 
I'm going to pause the camera and get to rock and rolling with a few little things here. We'll pick back up in just a minute. Thank you for tuning in today. Go get yourself a cup of coffee. By the time you get a cup of coffee, I'll be back. But actually, it's going to take me about 15 minutes to get all this done. But you'll think it's like, I can't stop. Arthritis in your thumb, Miss Martha can't even snap her fingers anymore. I swear it sucks getting old. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. I said it'd be like two seconds for you, but it'd be 15 minutes for me. Everything is chopped up and ready to go. I've got my teriyaki sauce here. I'm going to blitz it in the Vitamix for a minute, then I'm going to put it on the stove to let it reduce a little bit. And while, while that's reducing, I'll start making my skewers. I'm keeping the chicken separate and the vegetables on their own skewers because that way it can stay vegan because the sauce is vegan and you can have the tofu that I'm going to grill with the teriyaki, vegan teriyaki sauce on it as well. So this could be a meatless Monday deal if you just didn't do the chicken part of it. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. Let's do a little seasoning check in on our teriyaki sauce. That's good. That's really good. All right, I've started on the spears, kebabs. Haven't done the chicken yet because I'll do that all at one time when I can wash my hands before and after so we don't contaminate things. Now I've got to take my tofu. Out here go some paper towels. Let that drain. Then we'll cut that up into cubes later. And we'll take that off. That would be the last thing that we cook when everything's ready in the oven. But uh, you know, I've got to get stuff into the oven. Got to make it into the kebabs first into the oven to cook for 45 minutes before we even touch the tofu. So we could just set that back aside over here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the teriyaki sauce, let it cool down, and then I'll add a little slurry to it if I want to make it a little bit thicker, a reserve portion of it to save as dipping sauce. Otherwise, it's, you saw it, it was a nice consistency for a marinade to drizzle over our kebabs, our vegan kebabs, except for the chicken. The tofu and the vegetable ones, that's going to be for a meatless Monday, a vegan recipe. But, you know, I've had a busy, busy week, and I want some, I want some real meat and protein. We'll pick back up in a minute. I'll keep making kebabs. Over. Okay, the teriyaki sauce. The vegan teriyaki sauce is made. I've got the tofu, which we're going to do at the last minute when everything comes out the oven, but that's 45 minutes from now. I'm not going to move it on the pause for 45 minutes. My chihuahua is going to have to be taken out too while I've got it paused once I get everything in the oven. We're going to drizzle the teriyaki marinade over the chicken. We're also going to drizzle it over the vegetable kebabs. And we're going to put, once we cut the uh, tofu in the cubes, we're going to put a little of that before we're going to saute that in a skillet with some sesame oil over there on the stove top. So, in the interest of time, drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. You get the point. Same over with the vegetable kebabs. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Cover up all, and then they'll go in the oven. I'm going to put the chicken on the top rack and the, and the vegetables on the bottom rack. I'll have them both cooking at the same time because it's um, thinner pieces of meat, but it's just it's more of the meat. So I might have to rotate the racks in the oven. Ah, oh, my chihuahuas. i got to go pay attention to the babies. I'll be right back. Okay, I've sauced both trays of kebabs. I'm going to put a little water in the bottom of each tray. Let them cook. And they're going to go in the oven. Let's show you how beautiful they look. That's the chicken teriyaki. Let's go cook. And the vegetable with vegan teriyaki sauce. Kebabs. When we come back, We'll slice up the tofu, put a little drizzle of the teriyaki sauce on it, the vegan teriyaki sauce, and we'll take that over to the skillet, pan fry that at the last second when we're plating up the kebabs for everybody to eat. So, see you in a few minutes. Well, while everything's cooking in the oven there, not time to do the tofu yet. Miss Martha's going to work on her latest painting. It's a portrait.
I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it's time to sear the tofu. I just have some sesame oil in a skillet and some of the teriyaki sauce. We've been marinating on the tofu. Vegan tofu, teriyaki tofu. The teriyaki sauce itself is vegan. Obviously, tofu is vegan. This part is still considered vegan. The vegetable skewers. How beautiful they turned out. Well, if you've got a husband like me that just rode his bike for 20 miles, he wants to come in, he's going to want some real protein. And technically, this is Friday. It's not Meatless Monday. So we've got teriyaki chicken skewers. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll try to make the recipe yourself. And let's give a shout out to Bob for helping me as my little sous chef today. God bless you. Be kind to everybody this weekend.